Hello everyone, I am here to show you how to download and install the All-Star Hamvoip software. Uh, there's not a lot of videos out there for installing the Hamvoip, so here I am. Um, we're going to download and install the Hamvoip software for the Raspberry Pi. The site gives you everything you need to download it, burn it, and a good basic for what you would need. So read over all of this. Uh, this gives you what the hardware you would need. Um, it's great for beginners. Um, this is different prices and different links to where you can go to get it. So the first thing you want to actually do is you want to download the Win32 disk imager. I have it open on a second tab. We're going to download that. Or while that's downloading, we can get rid of most of those. So we're going to go in here, back to this one. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3, so I'm going to download the image for the Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, so while you're working on downloading the Hamboip software, you can go to the MOBA Extreme and download the MOBA Extreme for SSHing into your node. Once that's downloaded, you can SSH into your node. That's, uh, if you're familiar with PuTTY, it's kind of the same thing. I like to use the Mobile Extreme. So now that the image for the Hamvoip image is downloaded and installed, we're going to unzip it. I have found if you unzip it into the same file that you put it in, like that's saying extract here, for some reason it doesn't work too well. So if you extract a file and you put it somewhere else, like just the desktop, I'm going to put it on the desktop, see I changed the name to desktop, we're going to put it on the desktop. Um, I've already got it there, so I'm actually going to cancel this. So here's what you're looking at. This is the All-Star Hamvoip software. And so now what we need to do is go back to the disk imager and we're going to burn the Hamvoip software. Your SD card should, should be in the computer. You're going to go and find out where the software is at. I have it on the desktop and new folder. Or no. There. Right here at the All Star. So we're going to click on that. Then we're going to write the image to the SD card. Once this is done, we're going to take the SD card out and go over and throw it in the pie. Everybody thinks that you have to be logged into the Pi. You have to have a keyboard and monitor hooked up to the to the Pi for the first setup. That is untrue. So I'm going to SSH into it for the very first time. You just have to have the internet hooked up to it. We're going to SSH into it the first time and uh, change some things around. I'll be back. Alright, the software is finally done writing to the SD card, so we're going to take it out of the SD slot of the computer, and now we're going to go take it over to the Raspberry Pi. Now at this time, the Raspberry Pi is hooked up to my internal uh, the internal internet and hooked up to my sound card which is the URI by DMK Engineering so this is a fresh boot from it we're gonna find out we're gonna go grab the MOBA Extreme Bye. 
because it's the first time it's booting up it's IDing itself as something quirky and sounds completely horrible so the root password is actually going to be root once you hit root you can go into it and it will say hey would you like to first run the setup we're gonna do yes I'm gonna change my root password to what I'm gonna change my root password to we're going to click yes. We're going to verify again what the root password is going to be. Sorry if I'm moving kind of fast. Is this going to be a private node? No, we are going to connect it to the all-star node network. Is <laughs> We're going to connect it to the all-star network because this is going to be my um, what should we call it here? Uh, this is going to be my portable node, which is 45696, I believe is my portable node's, um, node number. We'll see in a little bit here. So we're going to click yes, reboot afterwards. I don't live in that time zone. So I'm going to change that to the Chicago chain zone, and what I'm doing here is I'm arrowing down to, ooh, I passed it up, the Chicago time zone, and the way you get it in there is you simply hit the space bar, You'll notice there, it gives you the little check mark, now you can hit enter, now it says is this the correct thing for the time zone, I move from New York's time zone to Chicago's time zone, Click yes. I am not going to leave that. So, do you want to change this? This is your host name. My host name is going to be uh, Plover Mobile. Ooh, fat fingers. And then we're just going to leave that alone for right now. No, I don't want to change the SSH port. We're going to reboot. Once it's reboot, you'll hear it again come over the radio, IDing itself as... I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Ooh, -oh, I put in the wrong... RPT. We're going to do yes. I actually put in the wrong node number, so we're going to change this to the right node number. This is my backup node number. I'm just starting to use it, so I don't remember it by default. Change. Yes, because I changed it, it's going to ask me that. Again, this is not a private node. What is my call sign? KD9JON. Alright, would you like to download it from the All-Star Network? It's going to pretty much configure everything that I need because I set up the portal on the All-Star Network correctly. Do I want it to voice ID? I can come back to that if I want to, but it will pretty much voice ID like it just did, except it's going to say my call sign. I'm just going to leave it as CW because this is going to be a mobile node. Um, if you're running more than one node, this is the proper place to change this for your port. We're going to leave it as 4569. I am running a simplex node, so I'm going to do a half duplex, well, semi half duplex with telemetry and courtesy tone. Now it's asking for my node's password. I got to go in and find the node's password. I'm thought I was on the right page for it and ooh, ooh. 
we're going to pause this while I put in the notes. Alright, so I put in the notes passwords. Now it's asking me if I want to configure the IX password. And we're going to just do that. I don't exactly know what that one's for, but we're going to put it as that. I'm hoping that's for the phone. Um, the simple USB settings. I'm going to go back into this later. Um, it's configured right now. Stock out of the gate to work. I just have to go in and fine tune the audio settings. So when running. Set the asterisk. Yes, we're going to reset the asterisk program. Now it's broadcasting my ID. <coughs> so now you are in. This is hardwired in. So if you ever need to maybe go and go Wi Fi. Here's your Wi-Fi settings. We're going to set up the Wi-Fi. We're going to go in and say, yes, do you wish to continue? It's going to look through all of the Wi-Fi settings in my area here. And then it's going to pull up a list of them. I'm going to choose the one I want as soon as it comes up. My home. There I am. And because it's showing my password again, I am going to pause it. Alright, so it did ask me afterwards if I wanted to save the password. It gave the password and I said yes. Now it's asking me if I want to reboot the system. What I can do right now is I can go unplug it from the LAN line, the Ethernet cable, and when it reboots, it will be on my home's Wi-Fi. I don't want to do that at the moment, so I'm going to actually exit out of here. We're going to go fine tune the audio levels. This one's got quite a bit of neat things to play with. Um, like, we're going to do option V, enter. Notice across here that all of these are clear, ignored. We're going to key up. Now it's got the COS input detected and keyed and then it transmitted so that's how you can have a good guess that you're getting out is when you key up it says keyed and then when you come back you get your courtesy beep alright so now that means that's fine we're just gonna hit enter again and then we're gonna check the audio levels of when I talk so this is going to be option two, set RX levels using display. RX, meaning your node is transmitting. It's transmitting over the internet. So when it hears you, it's going to be transmitting. KD9JON, monitoring. You want it roughly to be in between there. If it's a little bit lower, that's fine. So then, we're just going to hit enter, stock 500. If you need to make it higher, you can make it higher. If you need to make it lower, you can make it lower. It uh, appeared to have cleaned itself up. Now we're going to do option number three. Option number three, I think, is a little bit too hot. Um, we're just going to make it ID. So in the voice ID, it sounded a little hot. So I'm actually going to enable the toggle. Enable the echo mode by hitting C. KD9JON. See, that's extremely hot. So we're going to back that down by hitting option 3 and then enter. And I think I could live with 80. KD9JON. It's getting there. It's getting a little better. Let's tune that down a little bit more. 50. KD9, J-O-N. KD9, J-O-N. Okay, I could live with that. 
So we're going to take off the echo mode by hitting C. Then we're going to save it by hitting W, enter. All of the actions have enter after it. Then we're going to hit 0, enter. So let's see if I can make a connection here. That's the thing I don't like about it. I don't know. Let's try that again. Node four five seven zero two. Connection failed. Okay. Well, we're gonna reboot the system here. Wait for it to come back online. When we hear it ID, we'll know we're back online. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to re recognize with the All Star system. Um, We'll give it a little bit and see if it works again. Alright, so right after I closed out the last video, it actually just logged right in. So it takes a little bit of time for it to actually be able to connect. It's got to update all the servers and all that good stuff of what you're at. But this is... There we go. Yeah, KC9ZSU, this is KD9JON making a tutorial video. Alright, so it's connected. He's in uh, northwest Indiana. Shout out to you there.